Boo! Oh, you f it. Hey, guys. Welcome back to New Zealand. Uh, just a real quick one tonight. Decided to get out with the dogs. I'm doing a bit of homework. So I decided to get out with the dogs and uh, my youngest fella there, the last born Seth. Um, we've just come down to local beach at Faranaki, hitting the beaches again. And we're just going to get a little bit of footage of, of the sunset over that there hill. It's just a little bit of an outcrop that uh, keeps getting eroded away by the ocean. And uh, it might look effective. We've got a little bit of cloud there. Not so much, but a little bit of cloud. It might make some nice, uh, nice colour in the sky when the sun drops. The sun's going to drop in about an hour and a half's time, maybe an hour. Uh, so I'll just, just see how that works out. It's only about a 15 minutes drive from home, this one. So it's not too far to come out. Beautiful black, black sand beach. Over there in the distance on the horizon is Flat Rock. I did a video there a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so we're not too far away from that place either. Beautiful spot. Uh, regarding photographs, I'm only really after one photograph tonight and that's going to be the, uh, the sunset over that there hill. It's not going to be, we're not going to make too many shots. But I just think we've got a bit of cloud, a bit of high cloud above there, above that hill. And I'm thinking if we uh, get a nice little bit of sunset, it's going to make a nice photograph over that hill. Uh, I may include a little bit of foreground interest, but unfortunately some rocks are really close to the outcrop. And it's, they're probably a little bit too close for what I want. Uh, so the other option, there's some, some fallen tree trunks, some dead tree trunks on the beach there. I may use them as a bit of... Uh, I may use them as a bit of foreground interest. Or, I may just not bother with foreground interest. I might just go freestyle and use the beach as a bit of foreground interest. We'll just see how it goes. I could even, I could even, thinking about it, I could even get my freaking feet wet again and use a few of these waves, receiving waves, as my foreground interest. Which would be, uh, now thinking about it, I put the jacket on, it's not cold, it's not wet. But I put the jacket on because the bloody sand flies, this time on an evening, this time of year, the flan, the flan flies. The sand flies are a little bit of a nuisance, to be honest. They like my pommy white, pommy friggin' skin. Don't know why, my little fella there, that's running about our Seth, because he's grown up as a Kiwi, he's got, uh, he's got kiwi, tough Kiwi skin, and the sand flies don't seem to bother him. But unfortunately, my pommy Yorkshire skin, they just absolutely love me. Bless them. The only good for good meat, apparently. That's what I reckon. Sandfly. Fucking sandflies. Little bleeders.
Well, we're waiting for sunset. We're just gonna walk a little bit further along the beach, maybe half a kilometer. We come to the, I think this is the Tongoyo River. The Tongoyo River mouth. The Tongoyo River mouth. And it's gonna make some cracking shots. And I, but I, I think, to be honest, I think it's gonna be a bit of a vlog on its own. Because I think it's gonna make some really cool shots. I've got my mind set on that photograph down there that I've already got planned. Uh, and I don't really want to deviate away from that tonight. But I think first thing in the morning, I'll get up and come up for a, uh, a bit of a sunrise out here. And I think we're gonna get some nice shots. It's a beautiful little area. I won't show you too much of it on this vlog, but uh, I'll do a separate vlog on this area. I think it's going to look pretty nice. Quite close. No. No, do you? No. So, I've got to admit, guys, just a minute, Seth's wiping his phone on my shirt. Bless him. I've got to admit, guys, this is looking pretty bloody nice now. We've got a nice band of cloud over that hill, and it's just starting to cast the light quite nicely. At the minute I'm kind of struggling to keep the tripod steady because obviously when the wave comes in the tripod sinks and I'm up to my bloody just about up to my knees in, in the sand now but to be fair that doesn't say much does it really you know I mean don't take much to get up to my knees anyway uh, I think we're in for a cracker I really do think we're in for a belting sunset it's got all the makings of an absolute beauty so uh, Another five or ten minutes, and I think it should kick off quite nicely. Just in finishing, I think that turned out really, really well. Really pleased with that. The only thing I'm not pleased about is every now and then we've got a big surge of water, and my backside is soaking. It's going to be a wet, sandy drive home. But I don't care, because I've got some cracking photos out of it. All right, guys, from New Zealand, Kakiteano.